Joe, if you were on social networks mm -hmm. actively, mm -hmm. what would your relationship status with television be? <laughs> with television, the programming? Advertising. Oh, with advertising, it's complicated, definitely. <laughs> okay, <laughs> unpack that for me, tell me about that. Well, I love what advertising, obviously, it's kind of in my title, so I kind of hope it sticks around. I love what it affords and, and, and supports content and storytelling. Um, but in the current incarnation of, of a market that has just been between publishers and advertisers and forgetting the viewer, like Joe as a person who sells advertising is bullish on it. Uh, as a content creator, we want it. Um, to support it, but as a viewer, the, the value isn't there. So if you look at sort of your role, right, and, and you have a remit across multiple platforms, devices, yeah. experiences, if you took the lens of ROI for a marketer, mm -hmm. let's assume we're using metrics that you feel comfortable believing in, mm -hmm. right? Where would you invest the most time in improving and creating new products? If I'm the marketer? If, if, you're a, if you're a media company, but you're focused well, on ROI for marketers. I think, I mean, everything we do is focused on ROI for marketers. I mean, like, they're, 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 I guess I am a media company, and every product we do is focused on ROI for marketers. I think that the, the goal is really long-term ROI for marketers, right? That's kind of the key, is that uh, shorter ad loads, but more impactful ads. Um, the other problem is to think about ROI is a, is a two-step process. The opportunity to get someone's attention, that's step one of an ROI process. Step two is what are you showing them and what are you telling them? So uh, I think as a media company, our job should be to, get, to offer marketers the best opportunity to talk to people, to have their attention. And so we build products that optimize for the best opportunity to talk to people, right? Less cluttered environments, more in action, closer to our stories, et cetera. Um, and then we have to be collaborative on the second part, but know that we aren't responsible at some point because otherwise the viewer loses out. And do you think that from, if you sort of took a holistic view of the, of the media landscape right now, what do you think, um, is it going deep or wide? Is it media companies having broader products and portfolios? I talked to Pooja today, mm -hmm. right? So being able to sort of take someone through the funnel. Yeah. Um, or is it about doing one thing and doing it well and executing with greatness? I mean, I, like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, it's funny how, how simple my view of the world actually is. There's 24 hours in a day. People spend only so much time with media. People spend only so much time with ad-supported media. People spend only so much of that time with advertising, actually paying attention to messages. Your greatest share of that possible uh, in whatever format. It could be out of home, could be television, could be digital, but your greatest share of people who you want to spend time with, to spend time with your message, that's what you're optimizing for as, as a marketer. Um, I don't care what part of the funnel you're in, if you're just learning about a product or you're ready to buy a product, it's everything comes down to did you get someone's attention. And so where does your confidence lie in, in television in the next 36 months? Like where, where is television gonna thrive and where is it, television advertising, where is it going to thrive and well, where is it going to struggle? I think you're going to see fantastic, uh, I think that you're going to see that there are two types of content, stuff that can be watched on demand very readily. And on demand is going to require very different ad formats and systems. As you said, you talked to Pooja with Truex and engagement advertising to say we need frequency reduction and higher impact because in an on demand environment, people just, just learn that this is the way they should watch. Plus, there's so many opportunities for advertisers. And you have live, which is going to be your sports, right? Uh, and, you know, cont contest shows, et cetera, which will hold advertising in a much better way, but we need to be smarter about what we do with it. Aspirationally, if you achieve I all the things you want to achieve, I, what would you want your job to be? Forgetting my job and just thinking about what a modern, modern revenue organization would be, it would be in 36 months, you know, our revenue organizations for, for you know, publishers or TV networks uh, are in the business of being viewer-friendly advertising that supports content creators and great storytellers. You know, the two largest advertising companies in the world don't actually fund a lot of content creation, proportionally. Like, I think creating a, a media organization that has, that has figured out how to productize and sell uh, the audience in a way that really supports content creators, that's, that's a big goal.